So this is what we're going to use to make a tool to pressure test my intercooler system because as you can see I have a lot of welds, a lot of built pieces, especially this one, and a bunch of intercooler piping that I want to test for leaks before we turn this on. So we are going to make this out of some scrap stuff I have laying around, a 5 inch intercooler pipe, coupler, some 5 inch metal exhaust piping, some scrap metal, and then a barb to hook up to the air compressor, and then a hose clamp to hose clamp it all together. But how you're going to do this is you're going to remove your air filter, and then that special tool that you make is going to go on here, which in my case this is 5 inches. So I have to make it out of 5 inch stuff and it's going to go on here. I'm going to set my air compressor to probably 10 to 20 psi and then I'm pretty much just going to fill all of this system. So down here, through the intercooler, around, up, in here, throttle body, everything and just make sure we don't have any leaks, especially before we start to turn the boost up on this. So this is pretty much just double checking my work and making sure everything's tight and sealed because we are on 4 pounds and I want to make sure that's a true 4 pounds I want to make sure it's not leaking out of an intercooler pipe or a weld so oh I haven't TIG welded for a while so we're just going to hop into oh, it and see, man, see what happens look there's more to life uh. wouldn't it be nice get some ice on my rails wouldn't it be nice having fun where I live wouldn't it be nice bright house in the hills wouldn't it be nice all night Bills. Oh man, don't wake me. Please don't wake me from my daydream. Oh man, don't wake me. Please don't wake me from my daydream. Wouldn't it be nice get some ice somewhere else? Wouldn't it be nice having fun where I live? Wouldn't it be nice bright house in the hills? Wouldn't it be nice all night count bills? Oh man, don't wake me. Please don't wake me from my daydream. Oh man, don't wake me. Please don't wake me from my daydreams. My mind changed like big bills and small payments. If I want this thing, my life gon' need arranging. Kill the BS now, move on to money making. Chances taken, show us how to achieve greatness. All the basics basically got their time wasted. Either wasted or posing, posing with duck faces. When I'm chosen, I'm leaving frozen with stuck faces. Pedals moving, feel like I'm going right out the basement. I'm improving and growing, showing I got a movement. Never losing, I'm young, son, I got the blueprints. I'm gonna fake it until I make it right to the top Then I'll be able to take a foreign from out the lot Let all my horses out the stable when I drop the top Got so many goals, they're guessing that I dream a lot And I'm direct with my talents to so let them know I'm hot Not talking cable, but my static's going on every block And I'm addicted like an addict trying to make it pop Make it hit after hit and you know that's never gonna stop I know I got the melodies to ride to, vibe to Wishing there'd be days I could take a jet and fly to Anywhere you wanted to go, wouldn't that surprise you? Tell me, would you love me if the money start to slide through? Even when you said it couldn't happen back in high school All you do is hit me up to come and chill with my crew Wouldn't it be nice get some ice somewhere else? Wouldn't it be nice having fun where I live? Wouldn't it be nice bright house in the hills? Wouldn't it be nice all night count bills? Oh man, don't wake me Please don't wake me from my daydream Oh man, don't wake me Please don't wake me from my dream so every day all I do is just sit and dream About driving all the Ferraris and rapping on TV screens I gotta go through a phase just to make it to all the green Until then I'm down here grinding and plotting it with my team Ignore the hate because I gotta stay focused Get my all in these songs, I'm just hoping somebody knows Dreaming about the future I know So here's the finished product It's just pretty much a dish with a nipple for an air hose So we're gonna get this on where the air filter is And then this is gonna go right into here and then we're just gonna crank this baby down like that and then we're just gonna plug the air hose straight into here turn it on spray everything down and see if we have any leaks alright round four alright so we got our soap and water in here that we're gonna spray all the piping and welds down with so let's get this air compressor turned on so we're gonna set her in for probably 
that 10 psi range. I hear a leak. Yeah, that's something there. Dang, that baby just scooted out of there. God, this it can't go anywhere still. Dang, that thing just slid right off of there. Oh, so we're gonna have to put another bead on there. If you can hold it on. Alright, I still want to pressure test and squirt everything down though. So guys, as you can see, we got a couple leaks. We got two right there, and we got one down here. So we'll have to go over those two. Um, and then this popped off, my big U. So we're gonna have to put some more beads on there. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's actually pretty decent for my first time TIG welding and putting it all together. It's funny that these are leaking those, because these are like the nice beads, and then there's this fat, ugly bead. And this thing's actually holding, and these ones are leaking everywhere. So I'll probably go over those with the TIG torch. The whole thing around. Uh, everything over here looks good. Uh, no leaks, so happy about that. Nothing on the U actually looks leaking, but I don't know because it's blowing air out of here. So let's get those two pipes out of there and put on the bench and get them TIG welded up. I know that I'm gonna control it. All the money, all the cars, all the clothes. I came a long way from the basement with all my bros. Now we ride around the corner from touring and doing shows and leaving the people jumping and standing on tippy toes. Now these the thoughts that just be running through my mind. They dreaming about the future, gave me chills up in my spine. And I knew since the first day I learned to run that I'ma make it so until that is true then I'm on the grind because Wouldn't it be nice get some ice on my ribs? Wouldn't it be nice having fun where I live? Wouldn't it be nice bright house in the hills? Wouldn't it be nice all night count bills? Oh man don't wake me Please don't wake me from my daydream Oh man don't wake me Please don't wake me from my daydream So now after some TIG welding and grinding we have a full bead around this whole entire thing, so we have something the hose clamp will grip onto. And then we went over all these welds again. Uh, it looks okay for just going over the welds, but this will all be painted. I'm gonna do the wrinkle black on these two, like I did on my valve covers. So they're gonna look like that right there, the little texture black. So that should look pretty good. So let's get these back on and repressure test. Alright, so we got it all back on here. Uh, I bought some actual like clamps, like intercooler clamps instead of hose clamps because these hold a lot better and these strip out and actually rip the threads on them. Hopefully I can get one for my throttle body hookup right now. Um, don't mind the offset, it's actually driving me bonkers right now, but I'm just testing it and then this has come back off to paint it or if it leaks again it's come back off to weld it and test again. But I hopefully can get clamps like this for this. So we're gonna try something out, but now we're gonna hook everything up and pressure test it again, see what happens. You like the SRT-10, don't you? Yes. Oh, we're at 12 pounds of boost. 12.4, 12.5, we're slowly creeping up. And it's holding together, but we got some leaks, you can hear it. So that O-ring needs to be changed. I think that's the O-ring. That's just blasting air out right there. Alright, so the leaks we got is I gotta change the O-ring on this. I gotta do something right here. 
It's sealed everywhere but the sides right here. Um, it's not popping off, so that's always good. And then that weld I have to redo for the third time. But you guys get the point. Uh, it is holding together at 12.4 pounds of boost and the plant is only around 10. So let's turn it up a little bit more. Twenty. So it's holding together at twenty, but we do have some leaks as you guys can hear. Dang. I think I just need to get a new blow off valve. Yeah, that thing's cheap now there. Then I just need to get a new blow off valve, I think. This cheap Amazon's not even working. Oh dang. We got leaks everywhere now. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, you get the point of the tool. I'm gonna have to just sit here and fiddle around with it until I get all the leaks figured out. We aren't running 20 pounds, but we'll be running 10 pounds, but I still wanna get all these leaks figured out. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys would like that. I would love that. But as always, keep it boosting. See you guys again. Keep it boosting, huh Cora? Are you a good puppy? Huh? Well, you go pop, you aren't you? You're tired.